Okay, East Anchorage. For the past 12 years, this guy named Pete Peterson um, apparently has done everything possible to make sure that you get higher taxes. Uh, what else has he done? Um... Oh, yeah, he tried to get gas prices higher here in uh, Anchorage and as well as Alaska when it was him and Bill Wolkowski that did that. Uh, let's see, what else did he do? Um, oh, yeah, 2015, this is why I didn't vote for him in 2017, he decided, along with other cohorts on the assembly, to let you go into the bathroom of your choice. Well, let me tell you something. In 2014, I voted for this turkey for assembly after shaking his hand in my Lowe's uniform in 2013, saying that you have my support. And of course, just like Fred Dyson, I'm a man of my word. So I gave him my vote. Well, 2017, after his little... Um, vote to allow anybody that um, to go into the bathroom of their choice. Guess who I voted for for 2017? I voted for Don Jones to replace this turkey. Of course, East Anchorage decided to put him for another term. Well, this time, East Anchorage, thanks to the help of Amy Domboski, um, we have borrowed her Dyson. By the way, just to clarification, Monty Dyson is not related to Fred Dyson, okay? They're just using, uh, the last name is just the same. And, and if you want any details of that, go back to 2014 when you had two Dan Sullivans on the ballot, one running for the lieutenant governor and the other one running for um, U.S. Senate. You know why Dan Sullivan actually became the nominee? It's because of the fact he had the name Dan Sullivan and Anchorage was behind him. So, now get off of that tangent. Well, in 2020, let's sweep East Anchorage once and for all. Let's take all of our Dysons out and put Monty Dyson on the assembly. 